This need of yours to document everything borders the pathological. Think of it as being for posterity. Posterity doesn't care. I should know. I live in it. All right. Well, this is your chance. Tell us your story. Convince me and the folks at home that you didn't <sighs> guzzle Betty like a slurpee. I was born Mercalla, daughter of the Count Karnstein in Styria, a duchy of Austria in 1680. Austria was embroiled in the Great War against the Ottoman Empire, but such things meant little to a wealthy girl. When I was 18, I attended a ball where I was murdered. Murdered? Whoa! You can't tell it like that, like some boring history lesson. This is dangerous. This is exciting. This is flashback material. I know exactly what we need. You don't think perhaps this makes light of my tragic backstory? Oh, get over yourself. Come on. Okay, so you were murdered at a ball. La, 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 la. Oh, how I love dancing. Oh, how I love balls. Oh, how I love to eat you. Hum, nom, 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 nom. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I die, I die. Cruel fate left to blast the blossom of my youth. Oh, oh. Okay, what happened next? Mother raised me. Mother? Not my birth mother, but the mother I knew after death. I knew nothing of her except she was very old and very wise and had pried apart the jaws of death to enact my rescue. Arise, arise! Uh, oh, get up, you lazy thing! Now I'm a creature of the night. I can sleep until noon every day. Yeah! The wide world did open before me in death as it had never been in life. We danced in the mirrored halls of Versailles. We watched the stars whirl overseas no man had named. We saw the birth of a new world in science and philosophy and revolution. Every night was a grand ball, a hunt, a feast. But Every 20 years, we'd return here and perform a strange ritual. Mother would uh, arrange for me to meet a young girl. I'd be abandoned at a ball, or there'd be a carriage wreck, and some kind stranger and his ward, like a niece or a daughter, would be gallant enough to take me in. Pretty soon, she and I would become fast friends. Inseparable. But of course, my new friend would fall ill. I think he recognized the symptoms. Strange behavior, weakness of the mind. And before long, it would be time for me to rejoin my mother in search of my next friend. Uh, yo, liquid diet, you aren't exactly making a case for us not being a kidnapper here. I, I was never an abductor, I was a lure. And that's how I met Elle. It was 1872. And the Metropolitan Museum of Art had just opened in New York, and I wanted more than anything to sail to see it, but my mom insisted. The game started off the same. Carriage wreck, promise of shelter, fast friendship. Only this time nothing was a lie. I heart you so much. No, I heart you so much. When the time came to take Elle to my mother, I, I couldn't bear to give her up. So I planned our escape and went ahead to make preparations. Come away with me and the world shall turn only for us. But um, when the time came for Elle to meet me, disaster struck. I had taken great lengths to hide what I was from her, but Mama went to her in secret and revealed my true nature in the most horrifying light. Elle believed me to be a monster and led Mama to where I waited. And so my price for the disobedience was to watch Elle be taken away to some certain doom and to be sealed in a coffin of blood that I may waste away my long centuries in the dark. For decades I rotted under the earth. And then the war came, the last great war of the modern world that rent the earth with tanks and mines and bombs. So my punishment came to an end and I walked off the battlefield in Austria to greet the 20th century. Memo found me in Paris in the 1950s and 
didn't have the heart to re-enter me. I was of more use here, where the details had changed, but the game had not. I was to meet girls and make friends and see to it that the blossoms were ready to be plucked when Mama decided. So you went right back to abducting girls? No, I pretended to go along. I had no choice. But I ruined opportunities where I could. I sent girls fleeing back to the safety of mothers and fathers and fallback schools. There can be great satisfaction in small revenges. And I never knew what use Mama had for the girls. It was always a secret she'd kept from me, but I could afford to bide my time, so I watched and I waited until I had learned what I had truly been a part of all along. But I had betrayed L2 before she betrayed me. All too tragic for sock puppets. So you've been helping girls escape? When I can. Did you help Betty? No. So someone that she knew, someone that she thought was her friend, was really a vampire. And they took her for your mother. Yes. Okay, so we find your mother and we get our friends back. <laughs> What's so funny? We caught you. Yeah, and as humiliating as that was, it doesn't change the fact that my mom will scoop out your eyeballs and serve them in martinis. You're already terrified of her. Already? What do you mean already? I've never met your mom. Yeah, of course you have. She's the dean. <laughs>